holding social media accountable. Social media sites are a key player in this. I have made three different groups here. You've got the bad social media sites who are not coming out in support of artists. You have the good social media points who have been decisive on their treatment of artists and taking a side and ruling against non-consensual data scraping on their websites. In the bad section right now you have Meta, Google and ArtStation. This isn't an exhaustive list. There are others that I don't know about and they're subject to change. Like they could change their policy. On the good side you have Newgrounds, I love new grounds, of course. Kickstarter, 3D Total, Arts.io, PH. So yeah, Orange YouTube. And the ones I don't know are in Instagram and Pinterest. I'll get into these a little bit in more depth. Newgrounds, Kickstarter, 3D Total, Arts.io. The ones on the good list have all written it into their policy. You're officially not allowed to data scrape from these websites. And also they have some kind of control on accepting AI projects or accepting AI artwork. With Kickstarter, it's not a social media site, it's a crowdfunding platform, but they have been taking down irresponsible AI projects from being funded. They've taken them down off their platform. 3D Total has been fantastic in its support of the crowdfunding that I talked about in the earlier uh, part of the video. The ones that I don't know about are Instagram. Don't really know where they stand on it. I know they're owned by Meta, but I'm not sure. And Pinterest. Pinterest, I don't know their official policy, but I do know that a lot of their images are scraped off of Pinterest. And Pinterest has sort of like helped these data scrapers because Pinterest is a website that uses AI to organize and categorize and arrange images. But let's talk about ArtStation because this is the least popular artist website in the world right now, I would say. And that's because it betrayed its user base. It sold us out basically. Making decisions that are against its entire user base and will ultimately lead to the downfall of this portfolio site. Choosing to become an unlimited feed of AI generated art by accepting AI generated art in and drowning out the portfolios of real artists with endless AI variations. This will make it extremely difficult for recruitment, which is what the website was about in the first place. It was about real artists connecting with other real artists, looking at portfolios and hiring people. Instead, it's selling out all of its human users to feed the meat grinder. And they basically said that they're not banning any AI AI generated artwork from being posted there. And also by default, they are not ruling out uh, the AI image scraping, which I think is disgraceful. Here's evidence of that. Why are all projects not tagged with no AI by default? Does that mean if I don't use the tag, I am allowing it? And their response is, <laughs> we believe artists should be free to decide how their art is used. And simultaneously, we don't want to become gatekeepers with site terms that stifle AI research and commercialization when it respects artists' choices and copyright law. <sighs> AI research is not respecting artist choices and copyright law. So why are you respecting them? You're basically echoing the gaslighting that's going on against artists when you say that, that artists are stifling AI research. No, we want control over our own images. The images that we own the copyright to, we want control over them. Every AI generated image is breaking the website rules and yet they ignore this because in their policy they say when you post stuff to ArtStation make sure that you own it or that you have permission to post it. When you create an AI image you neither own it or have permission to post it because it's using AIs that were trained on data sets that you don't have permission to use. The AI does not have permission to use. So by their own logic every single AI generated image on ArtStation is breaking their own terms of service, their own policy. It leads to the question, why are they doing this? Are they being paid off? Because that's the only explanation I can come up with. They say they're not getting paid by any AI art companies, but my guess is yes, I would guess that they are being paid somewhere. There is some corruption involved in ArtStation. There's no other explanation for it. Why would they betray their entire user base? And now ArtStation are trying to silence their users instead of updating policy. So this is before and after the silencing. The vast majority of artists are making images in protest of the misuse of the platform and of their images, which they own. 
And then afterwards, you can see that they've just systematically gone along and just search and destroy it, tried to find every single protest image and delete it. They missed one there in the middle, uh, right there, they missed it. But um, this is not because of a, a fall off in interest. And just in case you were wondering, like if artists are now like simmering down and the dust has settled and now artists are just getting along with things. No, artists are, mad as hell and we are not going to let this slide we are not going to drop the subject deviantart is doing what art station should okay here's an update from deviantart it said we heard the community feedback and now all deviations are automatically labeled as not authorized for use in ai data sets you don't understand how important that is it's so important that by default they are labeled as not authorized for ai use because that means that people who are recently deceased, people who are not uh, tech savvy, who don't go onto the internet very much, they might just post their images and then go away for six months on an art retreat somewhere. You shouldn't have to expect that your users are gonna be logging on every day to check what's the latest situation. A massive majority of users are not gonna be informed enough to make those uh, updates. By default, they should not be authorized. So some people are saying like, they're just really eager to put this whole thing in the past. They're saying like, these bad things have already happened. They've already scraped the internet for images, for all the images. They've already done this. They've already done that. Why are you talking about them? And it's because it sets a precedent as one thing, but also because the narrative surrounding these AI image generators as being irreversible is one propagated by the AI companies themselves and AI apologists. They want you to think that the genie is out of the bottle and it can't be put back in because they just want us to move on to the next topic while they continue to profit off of another industry's hard work. If these reckless and irresponsible heists go unscrutinized, they will keep happening. And believe me, things can get worse. Things can get worse than the way they already are. Also, justice? <laughs> just because someone, you know, if someone robbed your house, you don't say, ah, well, it's in the past. They should just be allowed to keep on burgling houses in the, in the neighborhood. No, you want them to come to justice. You want them to answer for, the, for their crimes. This has been part five of a six part series. Thank you to these people for helping me with information and encouragement. And remember, you can help in a really big way to bring this case to the highest authorities in the world. The link to the crowdfunders is in the description of this video.